these women prayed for a better future after the fall of the Afghan government. Three years later, the very act of reciting the Quran together could send them to prison. Women are forbidden from allowing their voices to be heard by other women. That basically completely mute women's voices uh, even within their households. It's the latest restriction from the Taliban's so-called vice and virtue ministry, which has also outlawed the sound of women's voices outside the home. Since the Taliban seized power in the summer of 2021, it's tried to erase women from public life, barring them from schools, universities, workplaces, even beauty salons. Extreme gender-based discrimination is not only a systematic abuse of women and girls, it is a self-harm on a national scale. By cutting out half the workforce, the Taliban has plunged the country even deeper into poverty. More than three million children are now suffering from malnutrition. It's a government of Taliban by Taliban for Taliban in Afghanistan. Despite the deteriorating human rights situation, advocates say women and girls in Afghanistan have been abandoned. It's just bizarre to um, have such a decree. This further pushes women into more isolation. Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie condemned the edict on social media, saying Canada has launched a joint dispute with Germany, Australia and the Netherlands against the Taliban. But after three years of brutal repression against women and girls, advocates want the situation in Afghanistan to be declared a gender apartheid and have it recognized as a crime under international law. Taria Isri, Global News, Montreal.